we're going to look at multivariate regression in Microsoft Excel. And we're going to start with a database of home values and determine the effect of square footage of the home and age of the home as upon the estimated value. Uh, this data was taken for an area of one square mile from Zillow.com. Now we're going to highlight underneath the labels and then go up to where it says freeze panes and we're going to freeze the panes and that allows us to look at our data. So we'll go back here, go to the scroll bar and we can scroll down through the entire data set while still seeing the titles of each of the columns. And we have 34 lines. Um, that's 33 observations that we have, uh, uh, lines of numbers that we're going to work with. And we're going to start out by doing a visual analysis. I'm going to highlight the square footage and then hold down the control key so I can highlight a non-adjacent column. The non-adjacent column is the estimated value of the homes. Then we'll go to the top and we will insert a scattergram and we'll choose the first uh, scattergram on the top of the menu then we can slide our graph down a bit enlarge it and what we also would like to do is add a label to the horizontal axis which is the square footage so insert and over to the right till we get to the text box insert text box and I will type in square footage SQ period FT period now we can look at this. If I click on the data, just any one point of the data, and then hit the right mouse button, a pop-up menu comes up. And we're going to select Insert Trend Line. We want the linear trend line. That's uh, highlighted. And then down at the bottom, we want to put a check mark in each of those two boxes to get some output data. Uh, we get the regression equation. I just increase the font size. And we also have the coefficient of determination, the R squared. The square footage appears to determine approximately half of the value of the home. And we're going to do the other variable, which is age. Now here, I don't have to hold down the control key because I've highlighted two contiguous columns and have inserted the scattergram again. And I will enlarge this. And let's add a label for the horizontal axes. It's easy to read. To add the text box. And this is age and number of years. And let's increase the font size to make it more legible. Now I'm going to click on one of the data points and all of the data points highlight. And then with the right mouse click, bring up the add, insert trend line. Again, choose linear and click on the two bottom boxes which gives us the regression equation and the coefficient of determination, the R squared. And we will enlarge the font size, again make that more readable. Now if we look at the data, we can see the relationship between the home value and the uh, square footage as well as the home value and age. Uh, as the square footage increases, the home value increases. However, as the age increases, it appears that the average home value decreases. 
Now next we're going to use the linear estimation function and we're going to do this for both of the determinant variables at the same time. Now I preset my output area and also preset some of the formatting of the area, highlighted uh, some of the cells that we want to concentrate on. I type in equals linest parentheses, then I give the range of the y values, which is the estimated value of the home. That's in column C from row 2 down to row 34. The other data, the determinant data, uh, square footage and age, is located in columns A and B from row 2 down to 34. Uh, after each of those groups, I put a comma as a delimiter. Then I put a 1, a comma, a second 1, and then the parentheses, and that will give us the whole field of output that we want, and also estimate the intercept. Punch Control Shift Enter like you would control alt delete to reboot. Now, there's two statistics that we want. We can calculate these easily by hand. Uh, type in equal, highlight the coefficient, put a slash forward slash for division, and then click on the cell for standard error, and that gives us the T value t-statistic and we can copy and paste that formula over and we have the t-statistics for the uh, square footage and for the age of the home. Now let's uh, do a bit of analysis of what the output uh, means. If we look at the top line, uh, the coefficients are in reverse order. That first large coefficient, the 121,000, is the intercept uh, for the equation. The second one, beta 1, uh, in column G, is the coefficient for the square footage. This says, tells us that on average, uh, one additional square foot uh, adds $38 approximately to the value of the home. Uh, in column F, we have the coefficient for age of the home, and this is telling us as a negative number that for each year that the house has aged, the value of the home goes down by about $1,300. Uh, the R squared, the coefficient of determination, tells us that these two variables have given us approximately two-thirds of the information have explained the variation in our model uh, by two-thirds. Uh, now this other number down here, the 30, that is degrees of freedom. We use that to determine what the benchmark t-value is that we want to compare our t statistics uh, it's approximately two and so any number above two uh, its absolute value above two um, in this case 2.7 and the 3.3 .3 are both greater than two so those are both significant variables